Hello folks, I wanted to show you how I sometimes use an app script uh, that I could write and apply to a sheet to modify my header row and if it's something I, I do regularly it might be worth it to write a script that would be part of a sheet especially if the sheet's being duplicated. So I've got some data here in my header row. It looks something like this except it's completely um, it doesn't have any formatting and it's and it's quite a few rows as you can see so I want to write a script to actually go ahead and get uh, when I run the script it would format this header row the way I'd like so let's open up app script and let's get rid of the internal function that's there I'll just delete all that and it's always a good idea to name your project I would say you know set header format might be the name of my script. So I might write my uh, function and you know I might call it set header uh, format and my parentheses uh, move over one space do my um, curly brackets and then we can jump up and and get started with my function so my first line is going to be uh is going to be let let's let sheet equal um the spreadsheet app notice how i can autofill that um dot get active spreadsheet i'm going to want that um my parentheses my dot get sheet by name because I'm going to do this on the sheet uh, in this case it's going to be sheet one so there's my first line let's come in here and put in our semicolon and then our const we're going to have a constant here and it's going to be my last column l call I'll call it is equal to sheet dot get last column and go ahead and do that and then my next step would be I think I'll test this let's do a console dot log and we'll we'll uh, console log l call and let's just start with that and see what we get see if we get a number a numeric for that go ahead and save that and then of course we do need to run this and the first time we run it as always it's a brand new sheet brand new function and we have to do our authorization so I'll review my permissions it's me I've got to allow it to do these things so far anyway and okay it tells me I have 51 columns that's good that means I'm, I'm picking up that data I wanted to make sure I was doing that so let's continue and then uh, let the next uh, statement is going to be let header we'll call it the header and that's going to be equal to um, row one one colon one that would uh, define uh, row one okay now let's do sheet dot get range and the range I want to get is my header so it's going to be row one I want to set the font weight dot set font uh, and notice I have lot font styles and the interesting thing is that this is called font weight and font weight would be bold Let's test that out and see what happens. Put in a semicolon, save our function, run our function. Yep, it executed. Ah, oh, look at that's bold. So we did that. Perfect. Next would be to um, sheet dot get range. Again, oops. You know what? Faster way to do this. I'm just going to grab this. Uh, you know what even faster let me get rid of this show you a faster way here if I'm in this range here and I do a option shift down arrow key 
it repeats that line of code and what I want to do here I've set the font weight so my next thing I want to set is the vertical alignment so notice the vertical alignment pops up and in this case vertical alignment what I'd like that to be is is um, middle and then I can do a um, an option shift down and we can set the horizontal alignment and I can just highlight that uh, horizontal make sure I have that spelled right because it didn't autofill and this time it's going to be center okay and then we want to do a wrap strategy so we want to let me let me just get rid of all of this because it might make it easier we're going to set the wrap strategy and the wrap strategy um, is going to be spreadsheet app dot wrap strategy dot wrap and that should set my wrap strategy on the header and then let's do one last thing let's do sheet dot set frozen rows and let's set that frozen row to one go ahead and do that and then what I'd like to do is I would like to um, get rid of the extra rows and columns in here so I'm going to copy a little bit just to save us a little time here um, copy this and I'm going to go ahead and paste this in and I'm going to right click here and I want to format my document when I pasted that in I lost my tab so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the rows from 3 to 99 um, let me check my sheet though this sheet actually has um, sometimes oops sometimes and let, let's go ahead while we're here and um, on a Mac command backslash gets rid of all formatting and let's see how many rows we actually have in here and you know what we have a thousand rows and I only want to leave two so you know what we're gonna do because sometimes on a form response page you only get a hundred rows we're going to delete rows three through um, 990 for instance and then um, we're going to delete columns we're going to take the last column plus one and in this case I'm going to delete six columns but you know what I think it's going to be a lot more than six let's see if we um, you know there's a lot of columns here it looks like it goes all the way over there that would be real hard to count probably uh, uh, I'd probably have to put a number in there and figure that out hold on one second so what I've done there is just uh, put some numbers there so there's 10 columns I want to delete that's kind of what I wanted to know so I'm going to delete uh, let me just delete nine to be safe and let's go ahead and save this let's take a look at our sheet so so far you can see we've got no formatting and I'm gonna uh, run my sheet and see or run my script see what happens run um, up there the columns are out of bounds I'm, I'm, I'm doing too many columns let's stop and um, let's do eight see if that runs and I save it and run let's see if that happens there the rows are out of bounds okay well yes because notice um, now um, I, I didn't get rid of those columns but I did get rid of my rows so if I add a thousand rows and try to do this one more time run let's see if we got those columns right the columns are out of bounds um, uh, yes that's because I have numbers in there you know what that's that makes sense now we got to get rid of these numerics in here and let's see what happens now we're gonna end up with a couple of extra rows but notice we also lost our rows there so let's go ahead and run this one last time maybe we'll get this this time ah there we go so now notice we've got three extra rows or columns in there and we've got a few extra rows but notice our we have a one frozen row it's in bold it is wrapped it is in 
um, centered and it's in middle vertical alignment. And we did all that with this simple script right here. So I'm hoping that you like this. Uh, it's, it, sometimes I find I want to create some sheets or I'm creating sheets within a project and I want to do some formatting on them. So using AppScript, I can format parts or all of a sheet just how I want to do it.